Salmon are extremely important to California's ecosystem, but their numbers are dwindling. And up in Shasta County, there is an effort to reintroduce the endangered fish to the McLeod River. That process started back in August, and we were there when Fish and Wildlife brought in hatchery eggs by helicopter to be raised in incubators. It's all in partnership with the Winnemum tribe, which has been fighting to get them back since the Shasta Dam blocked their path to the Pacific 80 years ago. It's always been on our hearts and minds to bring the salmon back to the McLeod um, because we believe that, you know, whatever happens to salmon happens to us. So the two batches of eggs made it through the incubator and into the river. The small fish will swim down the river, but before they get to Lake Shasta, they've got to catch a ride out of the water to get to the Sacramento River. That's where it gets interesting. KPI X5's Wilson Walker followed the fish and takes us along for the ride. Yeah, we're, we're at the bottom of the lower McLeod. Uh, when Shasta is at full pool, we would be actually underwater here. But in this drought situation, uh, the McLeod has returned to its riverine form. This is the office and daily job for environmental scientist Matt Johnson, checking in on California's grand effort to save the winter run Chinook. The fish trap called a rotary screw trap screws the water and the fish down into a holding box. And we're going to open up the lid and see what we got. As always, there's a lot of river gunk to sort through, but what he's looking for will usually jump out at him, and eventually one does. So it's been about 80 years since salmon, Chinook salmon have swum in this part of the McLeod River. And here we, here we go. That is a remarkable sight. That's an eye. So these are eyed up eggs. They're about to hatch. This salmon was raised in an incubator about 20 miles upstream, so it's already done some swimming. In fact, most of those eggs have probably moved through here by now. These are the ones that are spending more time in the river before leaving. Now, the fish that swim past these traps can survive in Shasta, but they'll also be stuck there. So the two Chinook collected here on this day will graduate to the next part of this project. They will be given an, an aesthetic to put them to sleep momentarily so they can be measured for size and weight before going into an aerated holding tank and then off to the next part of their journey to the Pacific. All right, our fish are in the truck. So put the seat belt on. Yes, it's into the car for about an hour long drive down I-5, past Shasta and Keswick Dams to the re-entry spot. So we've made it to the Sacramento River here in Redding. We're gonna release our fish here in this quiet backwater. They'll be on their way. They've just got a short 298 miles to go to the Pacific Ocean. And they're off. What really what makes salmon so remarkable is what they, the obstacles they overcome to complete their life cycle, it's, it's a wonder. And this is all an experiment, trying to learn how the Chinook will respond. Of the 38,000 eggs that were raised, more than 1,000 have now been moved down into the Sacramento River, and they think that's pretty good. We're not going to be able to catch them all. We, we knew that going into that with our modest collection facility, but we're doing better than we thought. So this first small step in getting fish above shaft is critically important and it's an honor to be part of the project. So the rotary screw traps, pretty much a small or medium-ish solution to this problem of getting the fish below the dam, but the state is now tinkering with something on a much larger scale. Below me here, they're experimenting with a catchment system that pretty much covers the entirety of the McLeod River. It would pull fish out based on temperature area and sort of funnel them into the right direction. Now that is a long term, hopefully large scale answer to this problem. And they think they'll know more about whether that is going to work in the next couple of years. We are here on the McLeod River. Wilson Walker, KPIX5.